With regards to longevity, you know, because you're 50, well, turning 52, right? Yeah. What are some of the key things that you've, that you think have allowed you to continue for so long, regardless of the setback that you, that you had, which was an, a freak accident? It reminds me of uh, yes. John Hansen had one of those freak a- accidents. You know, John Hansen? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's unfortunate, right? It happens yeah. outside. It's outside the gym, which, you know, that's life, right? At the end of the day, for those listening, that's, it's unfortunate, but it, it's life. Like the, you were playing, uh, you said you were playing baseball when that happened. Softball. Yeah. Softball. Yeah. Softball. Right. And you yeah, were going yeah, yeah. for a, you were jumping and you were and I'm just running for a fly ball that was coming at my, you know, in my direction. And, and Insane. It snapped. Yeah. Insane. But, you know, at the end of the day, you have to know when to say when you have to listen to your body and you, you have to keep going. You have to be consistent with this stuff. You know, there, 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 there's always breaks there's vacations for like general pop, you know, they go on vacation. There's their deload. But we have to also, we also have to be smart as competitors to still understand how we're going to take our bodies and give it a break. You don't have to, uh, I don't take off months off from the gym. You're lucky I take off a few days from the gym, but you have to learn how to integrate deloads. You have to learn how to back off. You have to learn how certain things are hitting your joints too much and you got to listen to your body and, and know how to do it. And if you can, you know, because if you're, if you're constantly dieting, you got nothing coming in. You know, you have, you have enough to come in to try and maintain your muscle, but at the end of the day, it, there, there's other areas that, are, that can get fried. Your joints, like you said, you know, can take the brunt of this and, you know, your, your immune system's dropping down. You're, as a man, your, your test levels are dropping and they can drop easily from, you know, in, in the thousands all the way down to two or 300 by the time you're on stage. You know, it, <laughs> these aren't good things and you have to learn how to take breaks. You know, and that doesn't mean stop lifting, but take breaks from the from the the, the pounding and, and the, the lack of food and, and everything. You have to be smart to manage all of that stuff. And like you said, you have to build in light training. You have, there's different rep ranges that you can go. There's different RPEs you can go. There's there's different ways of letting the body get get a chance to breathe and and, gotcha. and it's in its own sense. No, no, absolutely. I think that's important because especially if you're a competitor, you're someone who is chasing whatever title, whether it's a world title, the Olympia, whatever, whatever it is, um, this sacrifice, go hard or go home, no pain, no gain. It can have its place in specific contexts. I yes. think I really do. I do think that it's important, in, but again, in specific contexts, right? Not all day long, 24, seven, 365, yeah. right? Um, yeah. Because I can't imagine someone like yourself or, you know, I've spoken, like I said, with, you know, Philip and, and, um, uh, you know, some of the older guys, Kyoshi, even Siobhan, yeah. it's like, yeah, it, well, actually Siobhan, we didn't even get into the training, but <laughs> it'll be interesting. Cause I'm when I, when I speak with him again, but from what you're saying, it sounds like that's super important to, for sustainability long-term. Right. And I think the young folks who can benefit from taking some of that in now, if you're in your twenties, listening to this early 20s, mid 20s, even late 20s, early 30s, even, right? Yeah, team, team no days off isn't a good thing. You, you could have that mentality. But at the end of the day, like you said, there's a point where you got to be all in and you got to be focused and laser focused because you're getting on stage in three or four weeks. And that's, you know, you're in. Otherwise, you're, you're going to come up there and you're going to fall short, especially when you're up there with pros. Just the littlest things can make the difference between being a top three competitor and, and, and being out of the top 10. And especially on a natural stage, you know, it's so hard. You have to, got to know when to back off and got to know that there's got to be off days in here. There's, nobody needs to train seven days a week. There has to be off days. And, you know, it's like cardio off, you know, cardio, then weights, cardio, then weights, cardio, then weights. And I'm like, nah. And even cardio is another one that really, you know, pounds the body that people don't even realize. I'm just going to walk every day of the week. I, I mean, walking's one thing when you're outside and, and but to, to be based towards an off season where you're still doing like seven days of cardio in a, in a, in a week, you're, you're still not, how is that giving your body a chance to breathe? It's really not. You're, you have to back off of that. You can still do some cardio for heart health, but nobody's out there. I, I doubt in our, in our field, trying to run marathons and, and 10 Ks and stuff like that for where they need to do all that running. And so that, you know, you, you have to, you know, give and take, give and take a little bit so that your body can manage and keep going because it's going to be the best thing for you if you can figure out how to kind of, you know, we all talk about that nice middle curve and all that stuff. You want to be in the, the average and all, you know, there's always outliers. Like you, you, you brought up Siobhan, like 
if, if half the people train like Siobhan, I think they'd be dead. <laughs> I think some he, you, yeah. you, 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 he, he goes all out and he's in there for a while when he goes in and trains. And not too many people are going to be able to keep up with him and do what he does. And that's, wow. that's just, that's genetics, man. And that's, that's freaky stuff. And I, I applaud him for it. You know, things do catch up and that's, you know, so you have to be mindful of that too. Like that, those type of people, you know, whoever it is, some of the freaks out there, they have to be wise enough to understand business as well, that they can't give their workout to 95% of the people out there because you'll you'll physically destroy them and, and that's where you have to know the, the the ins and outs of the business so that you're not there you go <laughs> go do this it's like take my yeah, workout what i did <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, yeah don't do that and then wow. on top of it if you even take some of the ifbb pro workouts good luck with that one do you think that you've been making progress from the 90s like obviously it's not linear like we we know this no no the, do you think that there's that, that you've seen like progress from when you know from the 90s to now or have you seen and nobody wants to admit this but as you're getting older has there been some regression in terms of muscle size and